Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 2. When we left off last time, I let the peasants basically beat and stab to death Stennis. And it, at the time, I know I kept saying, I don't feel bad about this. I don't feel the least bit bad, blah, 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 blah. But I kind of do. I feel really conflicted about the whole thing. So in the first place, and this is not at all a complaint, but it's, I felt very pressured in the moment. The game puts all this urgency on you, like... The peasants are going to revolt. They're going to do this. If you want to try to keep order, you got to make a decision. You got to make it fast. You got to go talk to everybody. And you can't talk. Well, you got to talk to people, but you can't talk to everybody. And I'm feeling like I did not talk to the right people at all. I wasted a lot of time because I was panicking. And then I had to just make a call. And it. It's been. I've been thinking about it more and more. And I. It's. I partly don't know if I made the right decision, but even more than that, I don't know that there really is a great decision to be made. I'm feeling pretty confident that he poisoned her. I think he did. Or if he didn't directly do it himself, he was part of whatever effort. Like, if he, he someone suggested he might have paid somebody. And yeah, I think he totally was in on it. He's got reason... He's contemptuous of her. He's contemptuous of all of his peasantry. Which is probably a part of why he's not been accepted as king. Because he would be just really awful at it. But... He hates, I think he hates her, he hates that all of the peasants love her, and the peasants hate him, but they hate him, he doesn't understand that they hate him because he's so disdainful of them, but he honestly believed that he is the anointed blood of the gods, so they should just feel honored to be in his presence. And that attitude is extremely grating. To a degree, it's not entirely excusable, to a degree, I would think in this day, in, in the setting that the Witcher is in, um, kings probably, royalty and nobility, do think they're better than the peasantry. They just do. They're wrong, but they do. I can, I mean, I can say they're wrong, but I'm coming from a country that the whole premise is that all peoples are created equal, you know? Um, that's not what they've got going on here. They have, you know, like all the, the, <laughs> the nobles so worry about, worried about who's gonna farm their, their lands. Um, so I can't entirely hold his attitude against him because that's the kind of prevailing attitude that a lot of the nobility probably would have, although not to the degree he has. I think he's he's so hung up on... He just has a, a big bitter chip on his shoulder that he is so stuck on how awesome he is and divinely anointed and chosen and why won't anybody recognize that about him? It's so unfair that they won't and he has to do things like go here to stupid Vergen and fight with this dirty peasant leading this uprising even though he doesn't want to but otherwise he's not going to be able to be king. That's his whole attitude and it's whatever. I mean I kind of understand he's been a very pampered kind of guy but it does make it you know really hard to like and so I think he did poison her. I really do. I think he had a, a lot of anger against her and a valid concern that if he works with her and their side comes through and wins, well, once they push back Hensel, then he's going to, she's the rebel leader. He's going to have to quell her. You know, they'll be at each other's throat and the peasantry do like her better. And she's getting all these Skoyatel and these dwarves on her side. And if she sways the nobility as well, who already don't want to confirm him as king, well, then he, he sees himself losing position to her. And that's just so galling to him that he can't handle it. So yeah, I do think he was guilty, but at the same time, I don't think it was right to let people just beat him to death there in the palace halls. I think that's the kind of thing that's going to scare a lot of the nobility, and maybe some people that would potentially have been our ally now won't be. They'll find a different noble to stand behind, and they might call for. I'm, I'm worried that they might actually decide that Saskia is a bigger threat than Hunselt, and that they don't really care that much about Vergen anyhow, and they might be willing to go like parlay with Hunselt and make a deal where he gets to just have Vergen, and they just pull out any support for us, and then Hunselt can come in and crush us, you know? I could see that happening because of me allowing the peasants to, to kill him. But on the other hand, I worry that if I don't kill him, if I had made the peasants stop, then there are a lot of Saskia's key supporters, right? And we would lose them. Because then, even though the reason I'd make him stop was because I do believe that there should have been a proper trial, um, they're not seeing, they're seeing it as, well, he's just going to be his council of the wise he was calling for, which are going to be people that he selects and that he bribes to put on there. There's not going to be any real punishment for him. He killed their hero. It's just same old, same old. And they'll see Geralt as just more of the same old, same old. Their, their lady is dying, nobody's going to stand up for her, all of these nobles, nothing has really changed, and we could lose them. And we need them too. So I really, I feel like either way, either choice you make, you're going to lose some supporters. Um, 
So I'm a little concerned about it. Morally, I feel like he was guilty and he was a jerk, and I don't really feel bad that he's dead, but I feel like it might not have been overall for our cause the better choice. That's what I'm mostly nervous about. So anyhow, that's enough That's enough uh, chattering, but I'm, I'm worried about how that's going to play out. For right now, I do want to find Philippa and talk to her. I'm really curious to see what she has to say about everything that just happened. Does she live again? Is she, like, up here? I know, I've got a little golden arrow telling me right where she is. No, that's... Because she wouldn't have all these people hanging out in front of her house. This isn't her house. I don't know how Sasuke would feel about it, too. Not at over. I'm on my way to the recruiting station. Adam. Oh, she's gonna come out. Or, no, we get the whole... He's like, ah, there she is again. <laughs> oh! Geralt, really, it is extremely rude to just walk right in on people who are busy. If I were Philippa, I was a sorceress, I'd probably just, like, zap him a little bit, because I could. Get out of here. Quit interrupting. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedwani camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. Ah. Mm. If she didn't have the rose. No, even if she didn't have the rose, Geralt wouldn't lead her, leave her to die. Ugh, it is suicide, but... Because I tried and they just kill me really fast. But I get it. We gotta be Geralt. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. Well, thank you. I'll find you when you enter the mist. I do appreciate well. your help, Philippa. And also, Geralt, good job on not saying anything snarky to her about everything that was going It's their business! They're in her house. It's consensual. They can do whatever they want. It's not really our place to say anything about it. Um... You wanted to discuss something. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to know your thoughts about... You don't you don't care that Stannis is dead? At all? No opinion? Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Yeah, I've got the blood. So don't you want it? I'd rather not hang you on to it. To discuss no, she just does not care. Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Alright. Hi, Cynthia. It's kind of cool to see him in different outfits, though. You know. A little more realistic, instead of everybody always wearing the same thing. Well, I mean, back in the day, probably... I don't know, how often did they change clothes way back when? They didn't own that many like clothes like we do today, right? And they don't have washing machines and stuff to keep them clean all the time. I'm thinking they just spend days at the time, like, pretty much in the same stuff. What's this? Clad in hues of green amidst... Alright, what am I gonna do here? Suspect Thorak. Okay, I do want to still talk. Can I talk to him? Alright, well, let's do it. If we can find more confirmation of Stannis' guilt, that will make me feel... I don't know. It's not going to make me feel better, because I still have the concerns that the no Well, I mean, I guess if, if we could find the, the confirmation and convince the nobility more that he was indeed... But they don't even care about that. They're just... The nobility's freaked out by commoners being able to... Accuse nobility and nobility being judged on the spot about it. That's what they're concerned about. Where am I going? Okay. Over here. So I should be able to cut right through this path here and then go up, right? And while a part of me- I mean, me again. Coming from a democratic country. I think, good for them! I don't care if they're upset about it. Deal with it, fellas. Anybody can point the finger at anybody and there should be a system in place where it's Claims are investigated, and justice is done. Nobody's above anybody else. But that is not at all. There, like, I don't think there is, currently is any kind of governing system in the world of the Witcher like that, right? What Sasuke is doing here would be a new thing. So... Greetings. This is where I just was. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at navigation. It's okay. There's a path up here. We got this now. I don't know. I had a dream. We were mining up.
Man, if those nobles turn around and gather the rest of Eden behind them, and strike a deal with Hensult against Saskia, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. I'm also kind of mad at myself that he was probably one of those guys outside and I didn't pay attention. I just walked right by him. Let's pay attention to the Vinia. Okay, Florak we're looking for, right? Yes! Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? An exquisite goblet? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever <laughs> made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels from me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. That was it, eh? Wait for events to... But I am impatient, and I don't like waiting. Alright. Okay, let's, let's look at all our quests. Probably we're gonna end up mostly heading up to find Triss. Hunting magic. Oh, we do need our... Yeah, let's do that. I'm not just putting off finding Triss. It's, I mean, we need we need that rose. I'm into that, but... This is gonna... I don't wanna go in the mist, because all those raids were really killing me before. Also, Cecil's gonna be, like, right in town somewhere, so... Cecil. Ooh, right over here. He's so close. Don't bungle it, Lavinia. He's hanging out right here on this bench. Why, hello! Alright then. What, what kind of question is that? You sure you haven't gone overboard with Stunnus? We're the one who were like, hey, he's guilty. I mean, come on. But, well, let's get his perspective on it. Think you might have gone a bit too far with Stennis? No. Mummy spent too much time pampering him, so he thought he could do anything he pleased. He got what he deserved. Totally agree. Maybe it'll blow over, or maybe there'll be another war. History's like a coin that falls out of your pocket. You never know where it's gonna roll. Fair point. That was another thing that I wanted to mention. Like, some... I'm also very disappointed in the gross racism that came out of the peasants. And that's another part that makes me feel like, why should I even have sided with them? When they're like, we don't care about the non-humans. Like, this is a freaking dwarf-dominated town, guys. The whole reason Vergen has it all been a success up until this point is because of the dwarven mine. Like, they're the ones that have made it everything that it is. And you're still gonna be there. We don't care about the non-humans. They can worry about themselves. Blah, 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 blah. Like, really? Really? It's their freaking town that you're living in. You guys live in, like, the little human scummy ghetto part of it. But still, still they have that attitude of superiority. Ugh. Okay. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. Why? I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. I like you. Don't make Listen, me blackmail you. I want Saskia to recover. I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensel. I'm not making it a My circus. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at That's those That's not what I want to do at Drawers, all. Drawers, peasants, their squiatel, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. You're just worried about your desires coming out. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. Huh? I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Uh, if Open they did, it. then I'm a witcher and I'd take care of it. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. Cecil, you have you to know, let me in. Don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I found your dream, it's what you're so worried about. It's affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? I didn't want it to come to this, Cecil. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days, and I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. So what, his, his affliction is he's an alcoholic? Right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. 
You must bury this thing. Okay, I will. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I am fine with that. All I want to do is I cure do. Saskia. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. I mean, that's a crappy thing to have to do. To threaten a, someone who is working so hard to remain sober that you're going to expose to all of the town that they have alcoholic tendencies. I mean, he seems to be doing a pretty good, good job. So I don't know why I'm falling in here. Doing a pretty good job so far, you know. He's doing his best for the town. He cares about his town. It's crappy to have to threaten him, but at the same time, I feel like the main reason that he was keeping me out. Yeah, he gave all that talk about if everybody could see each other's dreams. There's a bit of truth to that, but mostly I think he really was just worried about anyone finding... I mean, that's that's how we all are, right? We, 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 we think that we're so much more important to everybody else than we really are. And all of us are worried that any of our own failings or thing blunders, things that we do wrong, people are going to care about it so much and notice it. And in truth, we're all just so worried about our own mistakes that we don't really notice each other's all that much all the time. But I think that's really what it was. He was just worried mostly about everyone finding out his dream. But no, I'm not going to tell people, Cecil. And I didn't want you to open it up for everyone to take a look. I just need to save Saskia. Come on. Alright, so I need to go north and then over there, right? No, I'm not. Good grief. I have a map and I still can't figure out where I'm going. I need to go over here. So, north and then under the gate. There we go. No, that's why am I tracking hunting? No, that's it. That's it. The quarry. The quarry. Good grief. It's alright. I'll figure this out. Speaking of blunders, people make that are embarrassing. The utter inability of Lavinia to read a flippin' map. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. I like your hat. Just a random person, Cosplayers. eh? Cosplayers? What are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, oh, so this is the bottom part where there were, like, the harpies flying around, right? I think. Okay. Let's, let's do it right. I am here. On this path. And we need to go, yeah, we need to go, like, up here and then over there-ish, maybe. Might as well get that going. I should probably get some potions up. There's sure to be all kinds of things to- well, there's gonna be harpies and Ceylanos, because they're the dream thieves. No, that's not a, an actual path. Here we go, here we go. Hi, guys! Okay, no, that's not actually where I want to go. Because that goes to the battlefield, right? Right. Go over here. Alright, let's look at our potion situation. I think I have a bunch of everything I need. I do. Seems like a good idea. Wipe off your forehead. Whew. Oh, and just to show you that I did figure this out. So if I need to make something, I finally figured out the whole, like, if I need to change my... So we got our little signs here that tell you what kind of thing it is. And those match the ones up here. So, vermilion. Currently, it's got the wolf spain there. But if I want to use something else, I could put this androgos saliva in there. So, yeah. I worked that out. I know. This is a thing that probably um, people figure out like really early on in the game because it's not that difficult to do and potions are pretty important. But I got there. So, moving on. Let's also quick save. Where did my music go? See, this seems like it's an important thing, but no. 
That's an altar to something, but nothing I can do with it right now. Alright, fella. I am going to round up some harpy fellas or feathers for you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go. And I can't just jump down. We'll follow the path. It'll be fine. Yeah, here they all come. Rawr! How can that guy stand living right next to these? Just the noise of them would make me crazy. What, is there another one? Yeah, there is. Well, get over here already. Ooh. Shit, you stink. You too. Alright, feathers, feathers, feathers. Yes, I could gain a level. I will eventually. There's not a good reason to not do it right now. I just don't feel like it. We'll wait until, like, either I think about it. Medallion's telling me something. Yes. We'll do it. Geralt, I really want you to drop this rock on them. It would be awesome. Or if, like, things get hard and I die, then I'll take my level. Lever it down there! Do I have to not be in combat? Maybe that's the problem. Whatever, we'll just go fight them. It would probably be cool to use the rock, but... Or maybe it means they can knock it onto my head. That wouldn't be good. Okay, that's a whole lot of you. This would be a good time to have some fun on. Oh, I've got art up, huh? Whatever. Really? Nothing? Fine, fine. Maybe it means just don't, like, walk directly underneath it. It's dangerous. Loose rock. I'm gonna quick save and then I'm gonna walk directly underneath it to see if that's what happens. Alright, did I get all my stuff? Not even hardly. Okay. Oh, what's an interesting rock up there? Nothing? Okay, now that I'm not in combat, and if I can't figure it out, then I'll just walk past it and leave it alone. Whatever. Ooh, there's a big one walking over there. Let's go get it. Come here, you. Take that. Well, that's an interesting spot for you to die. All right. feathers, I think, is not going to be a problem. Alright. Another one, huh? What, is it just that they're special that they have this symbol carved in on them? Should that symbol mean something to me? It doesn't match any of my signs. OK. 
Could I place a bomb there and like explode it or something? Magic or danger. Okay, so it's all magic, right? Yeah, there's something going on here, huh? Medallion's vibrating. Yeah. have a look. So, not very good. Tamarian Jack Boots. Definitely better than what I have. Where are my boots? Right there. And these I might just drop. They're not worth much and we are over encumbered. Goodbye. Ooh, Elven Gauntlets. Mm, extends the duration of blade oils plus 10 percent. I mean, that seems pretty good. They are both epic. Mm, maximum load plus 5. We gotta think about it. But that does mean that we can drop those. They're worth 28. We'll think about it. If we come to a point where I have to drop something, I can drop them. Um, no, this I do not want. It's only worth seven and it sucks. Get out of here. Alright. So, we made it to the bottom. We came down from the outside. No, it's just this again. That's our entrance. Magic stones everywhere. be the one. Igni? None of it really seems to matter. Alright, I'm not just leaving this pit now that I got to the bottom of it. I just want to look around a little bit. Where does this go? Ooh. Oh. Very well. Alright, caves, let's see what you've got. Oh. Well, I mean, of course, they're gonna be in here. It's not. Oh, there's the big ones! And I've got all the wrong stuff. That was not well done. It was a bit rough. And this is where the big harpies live. Alright. Alright, we'll um, just maybe be a little bit cautious. This seems like such a weird place for them to be. Well, I guess they can get in and out kind of easy. There's a fair amount of open to that. Oh, okay, and then this spot makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, if it was all cavey, I wouldn't think harpies would be into that. Bunny armor. All right, what's it got? Yeah, I don't care about it. Forty-five, it's worth. It's not bad, but it's really heavy. So I think we're gonna drop it. All right. 
Ooh, this is a pretty cool area. I'm trying to admire the view. Now that it's lovely. Something there. Shit, you stink. Come on. Now then, what was over here? Some Bryonia. You are carrying too much weight. Probably too many harpy claws. We'll drop some. Let's have a look. Well, we have nearly two pounds of their eyes. Oh, the eggs don't weigh anything, huh? Two pounds of saliva. 72 feathers. We are set there. Alright, seriously, where are the oh, they're not craft they're crafting. They're not um alchemy. Harpy, harpy, harpy. There's the claws, yeah. Eleven and a half pounds of claws. We got a lot of claws. They don't like when you take their dreams from them. There goes that Quinn. Do I really need to- I don't need any of this. I got my feathers, right? So maybe we'll just leave this because I'm pretty much I'm just gonna get over encumbered with claws and stuff again. Plus I gotta pick these dreams as I find them until I come across one that's good enough. like the way to go. Well, let me down. Also, get one of those in. Choices. Hmm. What's this big circle over here? This looks suspicious. Oh. Ooh. Oh, is this how they crystallize them? Or, well, I mean, that looks pretty crystallized already. Oh man, look at that thing. What are they doing?
Oh, what, is it like projecting the dream? The head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you kind and further orders. Wait. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. Lethal's working for Sheila? Go unarmed. In common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. Well, well. Oh, was that... Okay, so I can put in the one that I found. Letha's dream. I mean, that seems like it's probably a pretty powerful one, but... Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, this isn't gonna work out. <laughs> well! <laughs> Alright, we gotta do a little bit of prep for that, I think. Still, Sheila's part of it, huh? Alright, we are gonna go back to that, but let's see what's down this path. Because it said find the, the best stream, right? So probably we need to go through the whole of all of this. Collect all the dreams you can. Ideally, I would like to see all of them, right? I mean, it does seem like Lethos is going to be the one, but... Okay, so this is where I was. I know, I'm getting so confused. Let's go this. I'm too old for this. Yeah, come on, I'm busy, harpies. Let's do it. Jump down. No, on the plus side too. Cecil's all worried about us going in here and people's dreams being exposed. But really, if I just kill all of the harpies, then he doesn't have to worry about the dream problem anymore. Okay, so that's that little path taken care of. Now let's try this one. Solanos. I wonder if the color of the crystal makes a difference as to how powerful it is. Alright, ladies. Almost like it has like a crystal right there on its wrist. Oh, there's a body here too that I didn't really notice. We'll take the orange. And the ring, it's nice and light. That armor's gonna have to stay. Oh, so that's that one again. Ooh, what's this lovely red one? Looks promising. Well, 
Well, that cut off abruptly. Sorry about that. Um, wasn't managed my disk space very well, and I nearly ran out. So, anyhow, I got the red crystal. I think we've got everything that we need to get now, and we are ready to place it in this thing, but the hordes of harpies descend when we do. So, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time. We will potion up and oil up and everything we need to do, and we're going to find a way to destroy this horde of harpies and peek on everybody's dreams.